Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We are presently playing as the President of France. We are in our second year as as the president of France. So let's hit that button and find out what happened. Speed limits. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Speed limits. A major motorist pressure group has lobbied the government to get speed limits on our major roads raised. These speed limits were set many years ago and both car speeds and braking performance has improved since then. Raised speed limits. We have moved on since the time when men walked with red flags in front of motor cars. National speed limits are stupidly low and the limits are widely ignored. We, we cannot enforce the limits effectively and until the limits are set as sensible values is just encouraging people to break the law. We need to raise the limits immediately. No change. Speed limits exist for a reason. Enough people die on our roads as it is. And speed is often a factor in the survivability of car accidents. It is true people break the limit as it is, but raising it now will just encourage faster, dangerous driving. Leave it unchanged. Well, we are the futurist party, so we're gonna raise those speed limits. Motorists are happy by 8%. Parents are not happy by negative 8%. And the CO2 emissions are up plus 2%. Budget report. Our credit rating is worryingly just the triple B. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP or cutting expenditure or increasing taxation. Polls report the government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 35% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and is having a positive effect on our GDP. Let's continue. We have a problem with a doctor strike. We have a problem with a teacher strike and I believe we have a problem with a railroad strike. We have crime as a problem and we have vigilante mobs as well as antisocial behavior. We're also a member of the EU. As one of the wealthier and more economically stable nations in the EU, pay a net contribution to the EU government to help support the e European economy. Seems to be costly. Let's take a look at our policies. Technology grants. The government can provide state funding to encourage business to invest in new and exciting technologies. Although this helps gives us a competitive advantage and create jobs, it can be argued that it is an unnecessary distortion of the market. Let's implement this. We are the futurist party. We need to go into the future and to do that we need to be focusing on increasing our technology. It will lower unemployment a little bit and it will increase our productivity and we want to increase our productivity. We're going to apply the change. We have five political capital remaining. Science funding in some countries. The majority of research is funded by private companies. State-sponsored science can be useful for investing in very long-term research projects or those that may not be commercially rewarding. The benefits of state sector research are freely available to the entire population rather than patented by corporations. Let's raise this. Two electron microscopes and use two political capital. Let's apply those changes. We have three political capital remaining. Now we do have a state worker strike on the railroad. You also have corruption in the railroad, it looks like. Corruption, any form of dishonest and unethical behavior by those in positions of authority, both in public and private sectors. Corruption creates a drag on your economy as resources are stolen or squandered inefficiently and it curtails foreign interest in aid and investment. Voters will become increasingly untrusting of their nation's administration as corruption rises. It looks like uh, corruption will be going down a bit with all of our, or with our CCTV, our body cameras and our police force. We also could do an anti-corruption agency. Anti-corruption agency. Establish an anti-corruption enforcement agency. Eliminating corruption may be mandated, but detecting perpetrators and persecuting them is the only way to stamp out the abuse of power for personal gain. The more resources an anti-corruption agency has, the more powerful the offenders that they can bring to justice. We're going to use the last of our political capital to increase this. We need to lower our corruption. We have crime on our hand, and we have corruption in the government that is just contributing to the crime. Let's apply those changes. All right, we have zero political capital and we are done the first term of our second year as president of France. Let's hit that button. We're now going into the second term of our second year as president of France. Let's see what happens. Crime is down. A message from one of our ministers, Lazar Burnett. Lazar Burnett, currently working as your transportation minister, is displeased by the current government policy, which is unpopular with their core supporters, conservatives and parents. As a result, there's a danger the minister wanting to 
spend more time with their family in the near future. Ministerial resignations hurt the popularity of your government, so it may be worth adjusting your policies to placate the supporter. He wants us to view the Cyberbullying Awareness Campaign. Cyberbullying Awareness Campaign, a program of adverts on the television, radio, online, and billboards to warn parents, teachers to look out for signs their children are being bullied online so that the problem can be spotted early and dealt with before it affects the children's mental health. Yeah, we can implement that. We are people of the future and our children are on the internet and that is part of the future. So let's put in two points. We'll raise it a little bit. We will apply the changes. Antisocial behavior. Crime statisticians are pleased to report that the extent of antisocial behavior in our nation has fallen considerably and is no longer considered a major cause of crime. Vigilante mobs. There are no longer vigilante mobs on our street and people are trusting the authorities to enforce the law and order again. Credit rating downgraded. Our major international credit agency has downgraded the status of our government's debt. This is likely to have a knock-on effect on GDP as foreign companies become wary of investing in our economy. It will also result in the interest rate we pay on our debt rising. There's a good chance that this will upset our capitalist voters too. You should take actions to regain credibility with the rating agency by reducing the level of debt as soon as possible. Your current credit rating is now a double B. Capitalists are unhappy at negative 5%. The GDP is affected by negative 3% and business confidence is down at negative 15%. Budget report international credit rating agencies rate our government as a double b this is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt we must address this cabinet report the loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate economic forecast good news the global economy is doing well and is having a positive effect on our gdp polls report people are indifferent to your government we estimate getting 48 percent of the vote in an election crime is going down a bit but we do have organized crime and tax evasion. Organized crime, ID cards, intelligence services. We could work on intelligence services. Intelligence services, security services are essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain. And in many cases, the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. We are going to increase this to high tech spy service. We will apply the changes. We have 11 political capital. We have a minister that's really unhappy with us and while I did do some stuff with him I'm really questioning him he's a conservative and we are the futurist party show me the, the potential ministers why do we only have conservatives as our options environmentalists and liberals Ooh, I might pick her but she's not transportation self-employed and ethnic minorities that might be interesting yeah I don't want to deal with conservatives we're the futurist party why why am I even looking at conservatives now I'm firing him goodbye let's hire somebody now we're having problem with state employees right now so I don't think I want to hire Nadine Leclerc. Hermione Mercier. Probably her. Pardon me if I'm totally butchering French names. We have a tax minister and a public service minister and a law and order minister that are not happy with us. But we have 11 political capital remaining. We could raise petrol tax. Petrol tax, the taxing of fuel, can be a huge source of income for the government. It can also be seen as a green policy by encouraging people to drive less or to use more fuel efficient cars. Critics suggest that this is just another cynical tax on motorists and some complain that the alternative public transportation is not a viable option for everybody. But we are going to tax it to about 46% and use a political capital we apply that chain we are out of political capital we are at the end of our second term of our second year as president of France we are now entering our third term of our second year as president of France the GDP is up global hit drama a domestic period drama has become a global sensation over 100 countries have purchased the rights to broadcast the show its mass appeal has yielded television awards around the world this entertainment phenomenon is now one of the nation's biggest exports. The Patriots are happy at 5%. Tourism is up at 15% and foreign relations is up at 10%. Budget report. International credit rating agencies rate our government as a double B. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Polls report. Your approval rate is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get just 38% of the vote. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate. Economic forecast. The global economy is doing okay. We are neither in a boom nor bust 
cycle. Diverted profits tax, a tax levied on estimates regarding large companies' profits earned in this country, regardless of their actual reporting. This is used to prevent multinational companies from claiming that all of their profits they earn are somehow only generated in a tax haven with little or no corporate taxes. By using cunning accounting trickery, this tax is mostly designed as an incentive to push such companies to play by the spirit as well as the letter of the law. If I go all the way to the end, it will earn us roughly 3 billion euros. Let's apply the changes. We have 11 political capital remaining. What else do we spend money on? Technology grants. I'm looking at what our income is. Capital gains tax. Capital gains tax. A CGT is a tax levied on non-salary income such as stock market profits and share dividends. The profits from selling property and other assets. Primarily it affects the wealthy and business owners. It will raise more money if the economy is booming because it's tax profits from investments. It also acts as a slight deterrent to investment and thus detrimental to the economy. Well, it's detrimental to the economy, but we need to raise some money. We'll go up to 22%. We'll apply the changes. We have seven political capital remaining. Carbon tax. A carbon tax is a tax levied on all emissions of carbon dioxide, thought to be the main cause of climate change. The tax is effectively a pollution tax and a way to make those individuals and industries who contribute to climate change pay for the damage they cause or reduce emissions. Obviously, the tax is popular with environmentalists and it can also lead to more energy efficient economy. We could use the last of our political capital to do this. We could bring this up to 40% and we would be raising 1.3 billion euros. Let's apply the changes. We have zero political capital remaining. We are ending our third term of our second year as president of France. Let's hit that button. We are now going to be entering the fourth term of our second year as president of France. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Hunger strike. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A convicted terrorist has gone on a hunger strike demanding that he be allowed visits from people thought to be associated with terrorist groups. We do not have the evidence to arrest his colleagues and are currently banning all visits for this prisoner. But it looks like he will go through with his hunger strike threat and may well die in his cell. Allow visits. We might not like this man or what he stands for, but we cannot allow him to die in a cell. Doing so would only reduce us to the level of the terrorist and would also almost certainly make a martyr out of him. We should let him have visitors whilst in prison. Prevent visits. We do not negotiate with terrorists. It's as simple as that. They will only perceive any negotiation or relaxation of the rules on our part as a sign of weakness. If he dies in prison, then that's his decision and we should not be concerned. Now we'll allow visits. The religious are happy at plus 15%, the liberals are happy at plus 22%, and we are seen as compassionate by plus 10%. Budget report. The International Credit Rating Agency rates our government as a double B. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 42% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally due be considered adequate. Okay, so we were going to be doing something with this public service minister, I believe. What is she? She supports socialists and motorists. This gentleman supports capitalists and parents. I'm sorry, Marine Russo. I have to fire you. Let us hire Paulette Lopez. And this gentleman, he's mad at us as well. Let's fire him. Goodbye. Law and order. Show me the potential ministers. Claude, no, we're not doing that. State socialists and state employees. No, no, no. We don't have a lot of choices here. We could try Jean-Claude Mallard. Let's hire him. And now our tax minister is mad. Well, I'm going to fire her too. Bye. So in my fourth term, I fired everybody. So who, are you, who are we hiring for tax? Uh, yeah, I can hire Eleanor. We'll, s we'll see how it works. We have 14 political capitals to spend. Oh, we need to do healthcare vouchers because we have a doctor strike going on. Healthcare vouchers, a measure designed to encourage the growth of private health care while still enabling everyone has access to it. Health care vouchers are issued by the state to everyone but can only be spent in the private sector on health care. This is a different approach to pure state health care because with health care vouchers the hospitals are privately run and the medical staff are no longer state employees. We're trying to bypass that doctor strike. Let's implement this. It is going to cost us money but we have a doctor strike and that is not good for the country. We are going to do it to about there and we will apply the changes. We have one political capital remaining. Remaining. Looks like we have a tiny little bit. We didn't go quite to the maximum. I'm going to use our last political capital to go to the uh, maximum for diverted profit tax, a tax levied on estimates regarding large companies' profits earned in this country, regardless of their actual reporting. This is used to prevent multinational companies from claiming that all of their profits they earn are somehow only generated in a tax haven with little or no corporate taxes by using cunning accounting trickery. Tax is mostly designed as an incentive to push such companies as to play by the spirit as well as the letter of the law. So we are going to use 
use our last political capital to move it all the way to the end and we will apply the change. We have zero political capital remaining and we are at the end of our second year as president of France. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.